Hi guys, Jose Prada here. Welcome back to our channel. Uh, today we're going to talk about different ways to start uh, coloring or grading with the um, Vlog style um, in, on DaVinci Resolve. Uh, you can do this on any color software that you have. And I'm going to talk about different ways to, to start a grade. So you can think out of the box and not always like uh, dragging one lot uh, so you have more flexibility and you can apply your own ideas and play with the footage and see how it reacts to everything you do even for understanding what the, the lot itself does to the image. It's great to start like doing things by yourself and experimenting without fear because it's all about learning and about uh, getting your your best workflow for you and uh, your best way to color your your footage. So we have this shot here, shot in vlog. Uh, the first obvious one would be to drag the lat in this node, the go to Rec 709 lat for Panasonic. Below. So you will have this result that um, for me it's good but uh, I feel that I don't have a, a lot of uh, flexibility here uh, aside from you know the colors and the output it gives uh, they're a bit uh, weird for, for me maybe it's a, it's a matter of taste so I always end up like adjusting the shadows a bit more the you know you're going to do this every time but um, you can change here the temperature for example since you have a good starting point this is one of the methods yes take into account that this is a low contrast image because I was using here's some filter on camera but yeah but now let's see what happens let me reset this node and apply only the Panasonic LUT and then in the next shot I'm going to apply because this is all about experimenting so let's go to LAT here and let's see what happens if we apply the ARRI Alexa Log7 Log C to Red709 look what happens the output in color is different I won't say if it's better or worse or if it's more real or less real but maybe this is closer to the output that you want for this specific shot or this specific commercial you know again because this is a low contrast image I would go here and adjust this we want some crunchy this is very you know very simple and basic great I would go to curves later to to do more you know specific grading in the shadows and all these things but for now let's stay here for saturation if you want to lower it because maybe you feel it's too much and uh, change the color temp if you want it cooler or warmer it depends on the mood that you want for your image or maybe you don't want to touch it because you, you shoot it uh, perfectly on camera so here you have a subtle difference between the two the two LUTs applied okay so the third one is one that I love to use you can do it here in the color wheels or, or in curves I like to do it in curves because we're going to try to do it manually and see what happens with the image try to see what the curve of vlog actually does to the image you know here I'm clipping much I want 
to push it too far, only a starting point, you know. So you start tweaking bit by bit till you get your desired contrast. You will see that this is different again to the other ones. So you see there's a difference to the color output doing it only using curves you know so this is the first one with the Panasonic uh, profile this is the second one with the uh, ARRI profile ARRI LAT sorry and this one is the third one that we made manually maybe you want to come here Take down the shadows, change the temperature a bit. And why not? Maybe this is your starting point. Instead of these two. And from this point, in the three cases, you will be adding notes. We will explain in next tutorials how DaVinci works because it's a bit different visually to the other software that maybe you are more used to like Premiere or Final Cut or you know but this kind of notes work like layers in those programs and, and then in the second layer I would go maybe for a more aesthetic Thing, you know, this kind of color in the shadows, making them maybe darker. But the main point here is to know that the first node is the starting point to read your image, and that you don't have only one way to do it, you know. Uh, we're going to explain even uh, a bit more in depth in next tutorials about some of these methods but the whole point of, of this video is to 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 free you like to make to make you free when you start grading an image and don't get stuck with lats only or even if you apply lats for, for example one one of our lats here for example this millennial lat that is one of our custom made LATs imagine that you have this starting point and this is super soft I created it for fashion but after this one you add a serial node and you want to crush a bit more the blacks and maybe I don't know we will go with all these options in next tutorials like the saturating the shadows to make them more cinematic or even going to log here that is more specific and crushing the shadows a bit for a more stylized image it depends on what you want but the thing is that you can play and you can start with different methods so that's the point uh, feel free uh, start experimenting with uh, some of these ones and uh, create in the first node a good starting point for to start your your grading you know so guys thanks for watching i hope this video is uh, helpful for you and that you can incorporate some of these techniques to your own arsenal um, like if you like, please subscribe and share and see you next week.